What's going on guys? It's Mr. Affleck9916 and welcome back to the MLB 17, the show Diamond Dynasty. Before we play our game today, we have some housekeeping to do. First off, we've acquired some new cards, not through packs, but just from acquiring cards from playing. As I said, they give you random cards from time to time. A ton of new pitchers, so we actually have a, uh, a new number one pitcher in Jared Ekoff. He's at 81 overall. Liriano's down to trending to just a 75. We also have Carlos Rodon, so he can come in and replace Josh Tomlin, who's played really good for me. Let's see Josh Tomlin's stats, see if I want to replace him. He has a 1.23 ERA, so I'm going to leave Tomlin in and uh, not put Rodon in yet. We also have Chris Tillman at 75 overall. He's not quite good enough to make the team. Uh, so there's kind of my new rotation. We'll switch Liriano down to the bottom there, put Jared Ekoff as our number one. And a big one here, Sergio Romo coming in as another relief pitcher, 82 trending, 88 overall. So we can take out uh, Buddy Boschers, I think, and put in Sergio Romo. So a huge addition right there, adding a uh, 88 overall. That that makes me really happy. We also have Luke Hochaver at 83. We'll put him in instead of Seth Maness because I feel like Hochaver could trend a little bit better. Another thing I might want to do here, I need a long relief pitcher because Chris Hatcher is not very good. So we're going to put Carlos Rodon. Uh, you can't. You can't put him in your... Can I put him on the bullpen? Carlos Rodon? No, I cannot. I cannot. I, he has to be in the rotation. So that's kind of stupid. We have Todd Frazier now as the third baseman. So we're definitely going to want to add him to the team. We have Alex Bregman already. Uh, we could replace Byung-Ho Park on the bench, who I haven't really played with much. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to re replace Byung-Ho Park with Todd Frazier. So we now have Frazier on the team. Another uh, silver card. Nice to have uh, some good players on our bench now. All right, so that's all that we have, guys, for our new additions. But we have a big thing to do here. We have 3,884 stubs, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen. So that means that we can finally get that big bases loaded pack that we've been waiting for for 3,800 stubs. So we're going to buy the bases loaded pack. Let's see what we get. Double the chance of legend and flashback players. Double the chance of a diamond. Triple the chance of a diamond classic stadium. Here we go, let's open it. What are we going to get? Please be a diamond player, we need one. 81 Castro, 74 Latos, 81 Mauer, and Marlins Park. Wow, well that is a disappointment, guys. So all this time waiting for that big pack, all those stubs, and all we get is second baseman, Starlin Castro. So, oh, that's a pretty disastrous pack opening right there. And uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna get anything good. So we can add Starlin Castro to the team. He's a pretty fast hitter though. That will help us out a little bit. All right, so second baseman, Starlin Castro. We already have Joe Panic. So where do I want to move Castro to? What else can he play? He can play shortstop, and my current shortstop is Chris Owings. So yeah, we want we want Starlin Castro. So he will start leading off for us. So at least we have another silver card. And finally, guys, before we play our game, I want to introduce you guys to another new player, and that is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, we decided to make the actor in the game. You can do one of these uh, star cards, and what you can do is give him your old cards to make him better overall. So we're going to give him a couple of my crappy cards here, ones that won't sell for that much, Matt Latos, Dan Straley. We'll give him a couple of these uh, bad cards that we don't want. So, his best position overall at this point is only a 67 overall, so he's not quite good enough to be on the team. Yeah, it's still 67 overall, he's a 66 pitcher, so there you have it. Alright, let's head to our game. We're at 231 rating in the regular season. We want to get up to all-star pennant race, hopefully, by May 15th. Got a couple more weeks to do it. And now I can play uh, I may, at Seattle, Texas, a couple different stadiums for me to play at. So, I've been doing Texas for my own stadium, but I think... For this game, guys, let's go to Seattle. Let's use that for my main stadium right now. Look at that, a retractable roof. We want it open. It's going to be April, clear skies, and 1 p.m. Actually, it's 11 a.m. in real life, so let's go with that. All right, here we go. James Paxton at Josh Tomlin. His team, all silver cards and one gold card in Trey Turner. So he definitely has a better team than me playing against the Wilmington Sea Giants. We are going to be up for a tough one. And that one's a fly ball to right field in this game. We'll start with a basic fly out, one gone, good start. With a runner, of course, in scoring position, and that pitch is right down the middle, here I go, making the catch. All right, nice play, we get out of it. We'll go to the bottom of the first. What a beautiful ballpark, Safeco Field. Haven't played here enough, to be honest. On the ground, that's gonna be a double play, and that guy's, 
is the inning. So I swing at a bad pitch and not a good job hitting in this first inning. We'll go to the second, try to turn it around. Panic hits it to left field and he will fly out. And that is the inning. Another rough inning, 0-0 after two. And that's going to get into the gap. It's going to be extra bases for Jackie Bradley Jr. He hits that curveball all the way to the wall. He's going to be at second, and he will look around second but hold. So a leadoff double to start off the third inning. On the ground, fielded, and the runner's not even going to advance. So that's just an out. Good job right there. His bunt fails. Let's get this strikeout to end the inning. 2-2. Two, two. And that's in the zone. We get the strikeout. So the leadoff double goes for nothing. Good job there. Let's go to the bottom of the inning. We cannot have another leadoff base runner. On the ground. Oh, and I cannot make the catch. Almost did on the diving play. Another leadoff runner on base for this guy, though. Runner doesn't go. A high deep fly ball. And it is two to nothing. Carlos Santana with the home run. And uh, once again, this guy hits another pitch. Hardly in the zone. And it's gone. So this game continues to just get more and more frustrating as he takes the lead here in the fourth. And that leadoff base runner ends up hurting me. Fly ball right field. That's going to get down. And he has another hit. Runner comes around first. Here's the throw in the second. And he is out. So we get out of the inning. We get lucky there. Five hits through four innings. Let's go to the bottom of the fourth. We need to score some runs. And a fly ball. Center field, and this one will fall for a base hit. All right, no, what are you doing? No, he got the out. Are you serious? Base running mistakes should be first and second. Instead, there's two gone. Come on, I hit the wrong button. <sighs> I need to trust the automatic base running, which I'm not doing. That's going to be into the gap, and it should have been two runs scoring here. Instead, it's just going to be one. Runner will come around third. Here's the throw to the plate. He is going to be out. Are you kidding? So that's it. It should be two to one. Instead, it's two to nothing. <sighs> you got to be kidding me. Curveball left it up. But luckily, Nunez will fly out to right field. So let's stay calm. Try to get it together. Still in this game, we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. One out of... Oh, Maven crushes this. Center field, unfortunately. It's going to be caught and through five. It is two to nothing. This game's going fast. So 3-0 pitch. And goodbye. It's three to nothing. I gave him one to hit. And uh, unfortunately, this guy's just too freaking good. He hits it out of the ballpark. You can make it three to nothing, Charlie Blackman. And ground ball. That'll be the inning. So we fail to score yet again. Three nothing after six. Sammy Salas will come in to pitch here. The lefty will face two lefties in this inning, so at least a good matchup here. 2-1 from Solace on the ground, second base through the top of the seventh. It remains 3-0. Two down and ground ball, and that will be seven innings. We fail to score again, 3-0. We'll go the eighth. It's been a rough game as Sergio Romo comes in. He's an 88 overall. He's like the best player on my team. Santana with a fly ball. Is this going to be a grand slam? This ball is up. This ball is back. And it's gone. Grand slam. And it's 7 to nothing. And uh, you can say that that's going to be it for this game, guys. We're going to lose 7 to nothing. It's been a ridiculous game. I have played horrible. Can't bat. Can't pitch. On the ground. Base hit. Oh, come on! What are you doing? He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. On the ground. And that's it for this inning. Oh, no, it's not. Out of play. And the run scores. It's eight to nothing. Are you kidding? Three, two, two outs. Swing and a miss. So we finally get a strikeout. Eight to nothing. And fly ball. What's going to happen here? This one will get down. Runner goes around second. He will come into third. So better on the base pass. First and third with one out. A chance to finally score a run in this game. Here's Clint Robinson. And right field base hit. We score a run. So <laughs> that makes you feel a little bit better. It's 8-1 to one now here in the eighth. And is this going to get into the gap? No. He makes the catch. 
And that's the 8th inning. It's 8-1. to one. We'll go to the ninth. Chris Hatcher coming in here in the ninth inning. I would not be surprised if he scores more runs, but I don't really care because we're already going to lose the game. At this point, we just got to play it out. Down 1-2. Chance to get a strikeout here to Trumbo. See, guys, I tried to pitch high. And see, this is what happens when I pitch high. I just can't do it, you know? And that's gone. See, every time I try to pitch high, he hits home runs. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, that wasn't even in the zone. He's stealing with a 9-1 to lead. Are you kidding? You're stealing with a 9-1 to lead. You know what? You're getting hit by a pitch, jerk. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, that's what you get, idiot. On the ground, you got to be kidding me. He's going to score another run, and there goes the runner to second. This guy's a jerk. He steals with a 9-1 to lead. Unbelievable. Oh, he swung at that. What a joke. 0-1, oh, and he's going to hit another home run. Make it 12-1. to Unbelievable. I still haven't hit him yet. That gets him. Yeah, you should be mad. Because you're a jerk. This guy has no class. He's a bunch of trash. Unbelievable game. I'm not bringing any pitchers in because it's not worth it at this point. Oh my god, that's gone. And it's going to be 14-1. to 1. How the heck is this guy such a good hitter? Like, how is this possible? I mean, I'm not giving him pitches right down the middle. He's just hitting everything out. I don't understand. Oh my god, come on! Enough! 15 to 1! You gotta be kidding me! Like, what do I have to do? How are you hitting everything out of the ballpark? Chris Hatcher's getting off my team. He's a dumb idiot. 2 2. And we finally get out of the inning. 15 to 1! been the worst game of this time in Dynasty. The worst game of my life. I don't think I've ever lost this bad before, guys. This is the most runs I've ever let up in my life. Unbelievable. Swing and a miss. Down to our last strike. We all know how this game's going to end. Probably with a strikeout. And it does. So that's going to be the game. I swing and miss again. What a disastrous, disastrous, disastrous game. We lose 15-1. to By far the worst game of my life. He steals with a 9-1 to lead. I cannot believe it. 10 strikeouts. That's going to be it, guys, for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it. This was a waste of time. A terrible card opening and uh, a 15-1 to loss. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. We will see you next time. I'm Mr. Affleck, 9916. Peace.